So, I'm back again in a cold day in New York City after a couple of weeks in Southeast Asia, which was, it was a different vibe, nice weather, and then came back to this cold weather here in New York City. Gonna be the first time I filmed back in the US after almost a month of being out of the country, but I thought it would be like a good way for me to film one of my favorite neighborhoods in Queens, and probably one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Queens, which is Forest Hills. Made a video over here like a couple of years ago, and it feels good to be back to see what's happening. So I'm gonna start over this side, the north side of the Queens Boulevard to show you where the apartment complex is. Then I'm gonna make it in the other side where the Main Street, Austin Street, and pass by the train station and show you like the beautiful houses. So without further ado, join me. Here's the Queens Library and a lot of neighborhoods in Queens, you're gonna see this library brand, you know, all over. So let's walk forward. This part is full of residential apartment buildings. And if you go further, you will see some beautiful houses. And if I keep going forward, I'll end up like in the Bath Park of uh, Fletcher Meadows Park, which is a huge park that divides between this area where Flush in Queens and Corona in Queens, so it goes through different neighborhoods. But we're gonna keep walking forward and exploring the beautiful neighborhood of Forest Hill. This is the intersection of 110th Street with 71st Avenue, which is one of the main streets of subway lines, and then it takes you to apartments like this. And then if you cross the street, you got beautiful houses like this, so it gives you that feel like if you're in Long Island or in the suburbs. And you gotta say, when you walk around the city, you gotta watch your step because a lot of people, they be walking their dogs and you know, you don't want to step on a dropping, so I just passed one. Got the beautiful houses here that resembles a little bit of Kew Gardens, which I made a video there. Actually, Kew Gardens is after this neighborhood, kind of borders with this neighborhood, so that's why you're gonna see like some beautiful houses. But when I go in the other side of the main street, the Austin Street, the houses get even nicer. The only bad thing is winter, so you don't see like the leaves or the trees, so it's gonna be different. Look at this house, how massive it is, wow. And then across the street is just apartment complex where you, which you'll see all over New York City, but yeah. This is a pretty, pretty large house. And I gotta tell you, every single street that you walk in this neighborhood, I think it's worth exploring. Cause like, every street is a little different than another street, and that's another beauty about a lot of places that you go in New York City that not only you can explore the main streets, you can do a detour and explore like regular small streets. So even here, it turns pretty interesting. You can see what's happening ahead. So here you got the sea of apartment complex if you walk around here, which keeps going. Then you got some nice houses and there's apartments. They got a balcony, but I think it's pretty interesting. And then this is an idea if you drive a car from Friday to 8.30 or 10, don't park your car around here. Most of the neighbors in New York City, you don't really need a car, you know, it's just a luxury to have a car. Because some, this is the city, probably one of the cities in the world that most of the people, they rely on public transportation. And it just keeps going. That building that you see over there is probably the tallest building in this neighborhood. And I'm approaching 72nd Avenue. So I'll probably do one more block and walk all the way to the end. Just to show you a little bit of the back part, the back part of Flushing Meadows Park. And then you got some beautiful house right here. This is the building I'm talking about, probably the tallest building in the neighborhood. And if you go like to Flushing Meadows Park, you'll see it from a distance. And even when you drive through Queens Boulevard, and this is like the whole street right here. So now I'm just gonna walk. A couple years ago, I made a video made a video walking around the park over there then I end up in another another neighborhood that I think it was Kew Garden Kew Garden something like that terrace which was super residential but it was pretty worth exploring but I'm gonna walk to the back part and show you what's happening in the back. Yeah, one thing about this place is, is they have their own parking not sure how much the fee is but yeah if you own parking so that might be another option if you own a car in New York City try to find a place that has its own parking if street parking is, you know, pretty hard and not convenient. We got like more co apartment complex over here. Been here a few times and I don't know. It's like every time I come, it's a little different. Or well, I see things I don't remember seeing. But yeah, pretty nice.
There's more over here. This is like all over New York. You'll see buildings like this, brick buildings. And this is what I'm talking about. They got a parking garage right here. And the yellow sign that says monthly parking available. And this one, this is a pretty interesting parking because it has a roof. So it must be good. Like when it snows over here, you don't find your car uh, covered in snow. And there's a main street here that will take you to Grand Central Parkway. And the park is back here, the back part of Flushy Meadows Park. And I think there's like a little bridge that will connect you to the other side. Just across the street, I'm not gonna go into the park because I already made a video, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it looks like over here. How it passes like the parkway. This is Grand Central Parkway, I think. I'm not sure if it's another highway, but I think it's Grand Central. You can see the massive traffic jam happening over here. Show you the other side. I'm gonna say this traffic jam is starting to pick up, but it doesn't compare to the traffic jam in Manila in the Philippines, especially Edsa Road. That is like another level. <laughs> but yeah, I walk here, show you a little bit of this park, then I'm gonna turn back and show you the main attraction on the main street of the beautiful neighborhood of Forest Hill. And then here ahead of me is the park. I think it's like the extension of Flushing Meadows. Like years ago, I walked the whole thing. There's like some roads. It's a little bit hard to walk on top of that. I passed the other side, there's like a lake, and then there's another neighborhood that I think it's worth exploring. But yeah, I did it like in the summertime. I don't know if it was the summertime or the spring. I think it was the summertime. And it was even nicer because you could see the trees, you know, glowing, everything. But yeah, you have an idea. I think this is kind of like the end of Forest Hill. So I'm gonna go to the other side, which is gonna get even nicer. So now my next destination is to walk a little bit around the Queens Boulevard, which is like a main boulevard around here in Queens. And you'll see like a lot of business, a lot of traffic, even a bike lane going on. And then I'll work my way into Austin Street, which is like the main high-end road in Forest Hills. So you'll see like a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants. And then work it deeper by the Long Island Railroad train station and walk a little bit of the neighborhood and show you the beautiful houses and wrap up the video. They got some apartment compass here and then passing the tallest building of the neighborhood. It must be like, I don't know, 35 or 44. 40 stories tall. It even has its own parking, so. And then one thing I like is how developed the sidewalk is, you know, pretty nice and clean. This is something compared, you know, this is something a little bit different that you'll see in other neighborhoods in New York City. And that must be the parking for this giant building over here. But yeah, like I said, that's one thing in all reality, in a lot of neighborhoods in New York City, they're not really that clean, you know, also depending what type of neighborhood, but this one here, you know, it's pretty nice, pretty clean, and I think it's more like people, you know, a little bit more like on the wealthier side, you know, so it also shows you a little bit of the equal inequality that happens around here, so, you know, it's not only in other countries, it happens a lot here in the States. But yeah, this is, in my opinion, probably one of the nicest, if not the nicest neighborhood in Queens, Forest Hill. And then now I made my way to Queens Boulevard, which I made a video around the street many times, which is pretty busy and you have an idea what's going on. This side is pretty quiet, not much going on over here. Still continues, you know, the north side of Forest Hills. But now I'm gonna make it over that side, which is gonna get pretty interesting. I just gotta cross the street, but I don't think I have it in my favor now, so I'm just gonna wait patiently. So now I made it to the other side, that's gonna be even more interesting. I was just on that side where you see the tall building of Forest Hills. But now we're gonna walk here and then you see a beautiful church, Catholic church. Structure building, like I say, this is a cool neighborhood. It's kind of like a city with its own city, you know, it has its church, it has even its own variety of architecture. Like you go this side, it's mostly apartment complex. Then once you go over here, you're gonna see the beautiful houses at the end of the video. I'm gonna make it a 71st Avenue, but I wanted to show you something over here, a little detour. Like you can see the old buildings, but like I like showing us how they develop like new complex over here. Probably like a luxury building and then some restaurants at the bottom. Austin Street is right there. 
but I'm gonna go, I think it's, this is 72nd row, well, so I think one more block down, make a detour, you'll see the main street. And here you get another inside of Queens Boulevard. Still keeps going. So I said it was one block, but it's actually two blocks from where I was standing, where the main road is gonna be. Then you can take the subway lines over here. You can take the E train, the F train, and the R train. If you take the E train and F train to Manhattan, those are express trains, and then the R train is mostly local. So it's gonna take you longer. If you wanna pay a little bit more, you can take the Long Island Railroad here and head back into Midtown Manhattan within maybe 20 minutes or less. It's actually faster. But yeah. And before I make my left, there's also like a movie theater ahead of me. Let me see if I can watch it across the street before the light changes. And then you got the condos and then you got the Mighty Queens Barbecue. I've seen them all over New York City. And then here. It's like a theater. Pretty nice. And believe it or not, I haven't been to the movies like in years. So I don't know, I've been to this neighborhood a couple of times, but I don't remember seeing the movie theater. I'll, I'll probably pass it, but I ignore it. Then they got a pizzeria here. As you know, New York is famous for its pizza. So yeah, this dog is across the street, CVS Pharmacy, a new condo is over there. When I took the subway, I actually got off in that stop on the other side. And this is 71st Avenue, and it takes you straight forward to the train station and to other parts of the neighborhood. So you can see, not too busy today. I guess when the weather gets warmer, you'll see more people. But yeah, this is part of Queens, New York City, but it gives you that vibe. This is a nice building over there. It gives you that vibe like if you're in a small town, like that community, that community, it feels like that. So, and you can park your bikes over here, you know. And then this is probably the nicest intersection of the neighborhood. And then like I show you, a lot of neighbors in New York, they got their street markets. Can we text her? I was waiting. Many people buying outside. There's also a lot of decent food trucks. Like this one over here. And I passed also like a Dominican food truck. And then the nicest intersection of the neighborhood is around here. So I'm probably gonna be crossing streets to capture some B-rolls with the architecture over here. And then this is the famous Austin Street. It's beautiful, so I'm gonna try to figure out which way should I go. So I'm gonna walk a little bit of Austin Street. I choose to walk this side over here to show you a little bit, then I walk the other side and then pass by the train station and end up in the residential area to show you how it looks like. So you can see part of Austin Street residential area. And yeah, pretty chill day today. But I like how they maintain the street, even the lights, they look decent, they look nice. <laughs> in the summertime, I think this is like the place to hang out and chill, you know, and then they got pretty much what you'll see in a high-end mall. They got the stores over here, like Banana Factory. This is literally like an outdoor street mall. But yeah, pretty cool. Then this is 71st Road. Then the other one should be 71st Avenue. So I always get confused with the roads, but that's a good thing about reading the signs. And they got this apartment complex, and they got what? New York City Panic Salon? Giving you like a 360 view, and now I'm just gonna head back and walk the other side of Austin Street. But also, like I think two years ago, I made a video walking literally entirely the whole Austin Street from the borderline of Jamaica Queens to the ending over here in Forest Hills. And now I'm back again in the main street. So, I'm gonna be walking forward to the other side to see what's going on, and then I'll make it back to show you what's going on by the beautiful houses. You're gonna see some really beautiful houses here in this neighborhood. And once again, back in the intersection. That's the Long Island Railroad Station over there. Taste of the Queens Boulevard over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the light signal to be in my favorite across. Then over this side, pretty much more chill, but like I say, 
they got local stores, the stores that you, the stores that you would get like in a mall. If I go forward, there's a couple of restaurants too, so. And like I said, I like the streets, how developed they are. Like the side, you walk, the sidewalks is pretty clean. May I do like two more blocks and then I turn back. Then here they even got like massage spots. This over here kind of looks a little bit like Flush and Queens. The sign, this must be probably like the Asian district or something, you know. Eye threadings, tea shops, boba tea shops. They got like an Indian food over here. Then more on the other side. So yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, but now I'm just gonna turn back and walk by the train station because there's gonna be some impressive architecture that I think you guys are gonna like. And this is where the Long Island Railroad passes by. And then once I pass underneath this, there's another world right here. We're gonna stay tuned and see the difference that's going on over here. We got a little bit of a street art. Still passing the bridge and then, ta-da, look at this. It feels like if you're in a college campus. Pretty, pretty beautiful. We got the cobblestones of the street, so it's pretty nice. Like I said, this kind of feels like if you're in a college campus right here. It looks like the train station behind me and then we got all these beautiful buildings behind me. Just trying to figure where to go because it's been a minute. I think I'm going to start walking by this side. So you can see the beautiful houses or mansions that they have here. It's pretty gorgeous. Then ahead of me is some beautiful apartments or houses. And it has an architecture that makes you feel like if you're in some European country like the Netherlands or Germany. So I'll show you ahead of me what's going on. Got in a sample and look, even the gate, everything. Wow. It's like an adventure. And it got more on the other side of the street. It even has like an entrance, but I think that's private, so I don't think I can go inside there. I feel gonna make my way over that way to see a couple of the streets, show you a little bit, and then I turn back. And they got a little sample of the streets and the houses here. It's so beautiful. Wow. The way I was made. I tell you, it really feels like another town. It also feels like if you're in New York City. So yeah, I tell you, it's like another wall. I'm probably gonna do like one more block at the end to show you like the individual houses so you can see how big it is. And then I'll probably call it, call it the day for this video in this amazing neighborhood here in Queens. So here I am crossing to show you a little bit of the street over here. Like right here we begin with this house, look. So gorgeous. And I love how well maintained the streets are, look. Even has some cobblestones, a sidewalk. And then here it kind of looks like what you see in the movies. Beautiful houses with green grass. Just amazing. And it's crazy to see how quiet it is over here. Just look at this houses here. Gorgeous, and look at this houses. Wow. It's just amazing, just amazing. Like the triangle, I really love the triangle and the architecture, you know. And this one ahead is beautiful too. So it's been an amazing day walking here in this beautiful neighborhood in Queens, Forest Hills with the beautiful houses, architecture, and a little bit of a diversity. So I think it's gonna be a perfect spot for me to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.